Hey guys, this is John from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing great. Thanks so much for tuning into this channel. Today we're going to take a look at Helix Native by Line 6, and I'm going to create some rock sounds and mix these guitars, and I'm just going to walk you through the process as we go along. So over here I have a session, which is uh, an older song that I'm redoing, basically. And uh, right now it sounds like this. <laughs> So we got drums going on, some bass, and two DI guitars. And of course, these DI tracks are still unprocessed, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we have two guitars, Rhythm Guitar 1 and Rhythm Guitar 2, and we're just going to solo one track here and build up a tone. I'm looking for a new metal slash rock type sound, and uh, I like Mesa Boogie Rectifier amps, but this time I want to try the PRS Arcan amp sim in Helix Native. And I'm going to combine that with some Mesa Boogie IRs from Ownhammer. So the very first thing that we're going to do here is load up an IR loader. I always like to use Nadir or NAD IR. Don't know how you pronounce that correctly. And we're going to set the quality to extreme. And I'm going to load up an IR from the 2x12 Recto with the V60 speaker option. It's based on a V30, uh, a vintage 30 from Celestian, but it's kind of uh, one of the brighter ones, so it has a very forward sound. And I'm gonna go with the Ownhammer 1 file from the Quick Start folder, which is uh, a file that I often like to use. Usually I just go to the Quick Start folder and pick out the Ownhammer 1 mix from that particular folder. Then if I notice later in the mixing process that it needs to be a little bit brighter or maybe a little bit more scooped or perhaps with less bottom end, then I'll go back and choose another IR. But I very often stick with the Ownhammer 1 files from this folder. So we're going to open that one up. And now all the tones that I create in Line 6 Helix Native will go through this IR. So it will sound like a mic'd cab. Of course, you can also do this in Helix Native itself, but I just prefer the workflow of this IR plugin, since you can really easily browse through all the IRs here in this Browse menu. Then we're going to open up Helix Native, and I'm going to go to User and click on the first empty preset. Then to start off, we're going to turn on the input gate, set the threshold to about minus 60, and the decay all the way down to 10 milliseconds. All right, so like I said, I'd like to use the PRS Archon amp model, which is called the Archetype Lead. I haven't used this amp a whole lot, and uh, I do like how it sounds, so I'm just going to try to get a great sound out of this one. Let's see how it sounds now with the default settings. <laughs> sounds cool already, but it sounds a little boxy, a little bit dark, so I'm going to tweak the amp model to make it sound more to my liking. I noticed that the low end isn't really huge sounding, I need it to sound bigger. So we're going to turn up the depth here a little bit. I like the bottom end that it adds, but now we're going to need to add a little bit more presence and treble to make this guitar sound brighter and more forward. So I'm going to start off with the presence control and raise that until it sounds good. Let's go. I really like the sizzle and presence it adds at around 8.2. Now let's do the same thing with the treble control. It's much brighter, yes, but we're going for a very direct and in-your-face type sound, so this is going to work out great. Since I found this guitar tone a little bit boxy, I'm going to remove some mids here. Let's take a look. We're not 
going to remove too much, just a little bit to make it a little bit more scoop sounding. And finally, let's tweak the amount of drive. <laughs> Especially with those palm muted parts, you want the gain amount to be just right in order for the guitars to sound chunky and big. I'm really digging these amp settings, so what I'm going to do now is add a subtle room reverb. And we're just going to use the legacy reverbs and click on room. And I'm going to tweak this until it sounds good. I want a room sound that brings a bit of liveliness to the guitar tone, but I don't want it to be too obvious. It's a feel thing rather than a hear thing, if that makes sense. So it's definitely subtle, and it will be even more subtle in the mix but it definitely is adding some space to these guitars. Let's bypass it real quick and compare. I like it much better with this reverb. And I actually think that this IR sounds great for this tone. So for now, I'm just gonna leave that as is. And what I'm gonna do now is copy these settings to the other channel. Now that I've copied the settings, I'm going to pan these guitars all the way to the left and this one all the way to the right. Let's take a listen. <laughs> That sounds really cool so far. Now there's one little trick that we can do to add a little bit more stereo width to these guitars. And what I'd like to do is go to the second guitar here. And for this IR, we're gonna choose a different cabinet. In this case, we're gonna choose the 4x12 Recto. And I'm gonna choose the same speaker type and go to the Quick Start folder and again, choose the Ownhammer 1 mix file. Now this will give this tone a little bit of a different sound. Let's compare this to the sound on the other side. So the difference is subtle, but there is a difference, and this will help create a wider and bigger sound, just because there are subtle differences between the two sides going on. Now let's listen to how this sounds in the mix. I think these guitars already sound really great, but there still are a few things we can do to make these guitars sit in the mix better and work better with the other instruments. So what I've done is uh, sent these two guitars to a group track right here. And we're just gonna add some simple processing here. What I always like to do is add the virtual tape machines by Slate Digital. And these are the settings that I basically always use. <laughs> It's just there to add some very subtle coloring and warmth. We don't want it to clip or drive too hard. Then I'm going to open up the virtual mix rack by Slate Digital also. And what we're gonna do here is add the New York tube driver and set that to console instead of preamp just to add some very subtle amount of coloring just as with the tape machine. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Yeah, 
so yeah, as I said, very subtle, just adding some warmth in the mid-range, warming up things a little bit. And then we're going to add the VCC channel, which basically emulates the analog summing that goes on in an analog console. I have that set to the Brit 4K E channel, and I'm just going to check the levels here so that it doesn't clip. <laughs> Again, we're just adding some very subtle coloring here. And now the most important thing, we're gonna add a little bit of EQ on these guitars. First, what I'd like to do is filter out some of the unnecessary low end, because that tends to get in the way of the bass guitar and or the kick drum. So we're gonna raise this a little bit. <laughs> This cleans up the sub lows quite nicely. Then there is still some low mid honkiness going on, some muddiness, and I'd like to filter some of that out. So I'm gonna search for the frequency that's kind of bugging me. And I'm gonna just raise the level of this EQ band a bit here. And I'm just gonna sweep the frequency control here until I find the area that's bugging me. Let's go ahead. <laughs> So right around the 250 hertz mark is an area that's that often bugs me in the mix and we can quite easily take that out so let's do that right now and now let's a b this with and without the eq on So the EQ settings here tighten up the guitars quite a bit. And in this way, the guitars leave a little bit more room for the other instruments. Now let's see how it sounds in the mix. Yeah, it sounds pretty killer to me. Okay, so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. And go to facebook.com slash sonicdrivestudio to stay up to date on our activities. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.